17 African Countries Queen Elizabeth II Visited During Her Reign Queen Elizabeth II is the longest of any British monarch, the longest recorded of any female head of state in history, and she was queen of 32 sovereign states during her lifetime and 15 at the time of her death. Her reign of 70 years and 214 days is the longest of any British monarch. Queen Elizabeth II had a special relationship with Africa. She visited more than 20 African countries during her reign, which saw the end of the British Empire and the spread of independence across the African continent. Here are the 17 African countries Queen Elizabeth II visited during her reign. 17. South African At this time, she was still a princess and had not assumed duties as the queen. The young Princess Elizabeth was on a royal tour with her parents and sister Princess Margaret in Cape Town, where she made a broadcast from the Gardens of Government House in Cape Town, South Africa, on her 21st birthday, dedicating her life to the service of the Commonwealth. She said, Everywhere I have traveled in these lovely lands of South Africa, my parents, my sister, and I have been taken to the heart of their people and made to feel that we are just as much at home here as if we had lived among them all our lives. 16. Kenya In February 1952, Princess Elizabeth left her sick father, King George VI, and traveled to Kenya. The princess and her husband, Prince Philip, were visiting the treetop in Aberdari National Park, which was a popular spot back then for viewing animals from a high vantage point. It was there on the slopes of Mount Kenya that Prince Philip gave Princess Elizabeth the news of her father's death and that she was to become queen. She was 25 years old at this time. 15. Uganda Although the queen ascended to the throne during a visit to Kenya, her first trip to Africa, since her coronation was to Uganda in 1952. Thousands of cheering Ugandans lined the streets to welcome the Queen. During her stay, she went to Kazinga National Park, which was later renamed Queen Elizabeth National Park in her honor. 14. Ethiopia In 1965, the Queen and Prince Philip visited Ethiopia, the birthplace of Hale Selassie, Ethiopia's charismatic emperor, who had forged a close connection with Britain during the Second World War. The Queen was drawn through Addis Ababa by a carriage drawn by six white horses and was the honored guest at a state banquet in the Old Palace, where the Emperor kept his pet lions in the gardens. During their one-week visit to Ethiopia, the royal couple visited the new cathedral in Aksum as well as the Tissasat Falls on Lake Tana. 13. Malawi the Queen also visited Malawi during her 1979 African tour. This was about 15 years after Malawi had gained its independence from Britain. Her Majesty's visit was a formal affair, with her and Prince Philip attending multiple receptions alongside the country's president, Hastings Banda. The Queen wore some of her finest jewels for the occasion, including a diamond tiara. 12. Tanzania at the start of her African tour in 1979, Queen Elizabeth II visited Tanzania. Her Majesty's journey did not allow for much exploring since it was strictly diplomatic. However, her son Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Balls visited in 2011 and enjoyed a walking safari in Arusha National Park, known for its large number of elephants. 11. Botswana During her Africa tour in 1979, Queen Elizabeth II made her only state visit to Botswana. She was welcomed by tribal dancers and a 21-gun salute. The Queen was accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh and her second son, Prince Andrew. 10. Zambia The final stop on the Queen's 1979 tour of Africa to Zambia was almost cancelled due to security risks. Luckily, it proved a safe and successful trip. Her Majesty's flight from Botswana flew over Livingstone, where the famous Victoria Falls are located. Despite danger concerns, security on the ground was light, and the cheering Zambians chanting KK Queenie in honor of their president Kenneth Conda at that time. 9. Zimbabwe Queen Elizabeth II visited Zimbabwe for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in 1991, but it was not her first visit to the country. She arrived in 1947 with her father, King George VI, mother, Queen Elizabeth, and Princess Margaret. 8. 
Namibia. The Queen and Prince Philip also visited Namibia in 1991. This was the monarch's first ever trip to the youngest member of a commonwealth, the only one of 50 ex-colonies that Her Majesty had never visited before 1991. They were received in Windhoek by Namibia's new president at that time, Sam Ujoma, and his wife, Kovambo. They then traveled to Andangwant near Etosha National Park to have a conservation. 7. Mozambique The Queen's visit to Mozambique in 1999 was the last leg of her tour and the last country she visited in the 20th century. Despite being welcomed by President Joaquim Chisano, the response to Her Majesty's visit was underwhelming, with only 14 people from the country's capital Maputo showing up to see her at City Hall. 6. Manchuria In December 2003, Queen Elizabeth II arrived in Nigeria to attend the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Abuja. It was her second visit to the country, having visited Manchuria for the first time in 1956 for 20 days. 5. Kana In 1961, Queen Elizabeth visited several countries around the world, but perhaps what was most notable was her very first trip to Ghana. The young queen showed during this trip that while the royal's family's powers were limited, the monarchy could still have an impact. Ghana, a former British colony that had gained its independence in 1957. British members of parliament and the public did not want the queen to take the trip due to rising tensions in a country where President Queen Nkrumah was well on his way to becoming a dictator. Five days before Elizabeth's trip was to begin, bombs went off in the capital city of Accra. A statue of Nkrumah was hit, which showed the president was a target. The queen was not deterred. One reason she was reluctant to reschedule was that he had previously canceled in 1959 when she was pregnant with Prince Andrew. As the head of the Commonwealth, the queen did not want to insult Ghana by postponing the visit. 4. Sudan Queen Elizabeth and Sudan's President El Tagani El Mahi on the state drive from Khartoum Airport, also in 1965. Her visit to Sudan included an afternoon of camel racing and a trip to the construction site of the Rosaries Dam on the Blue Nile, which was completed the following year. 3. Sierra Leone Queen Elizabeth II and her husband, Prince Philip, visited Sierra Leone from 25 November to 1 December 1961. They arrived in Freetown on the Royal Yacht Britannia, and Queen Elizabeth II seafront was so named. 2. Liberia Official diplomatic recognition of Liberia by the United States of America did not come until 1862. The Queen's visit in 1961 came at a time when Liberia was playing an active role in continental and global affairs. 1. Algeria The Queen visited Algeria in October from the 25th to 27th of 1980. Algeria rarely features on British travel radars, and indeed, this short stop-off in Algeria almost 40 years ago remains the Queen's sole trip to the North African country in her seven-decade reign. It was not a particularly happy visit. She spent much of her time in the capital, at sites such as the Mustafa Hospital, speaking to survivors of the El Asnam earthquake, which had racked the country on October 10. These are the 17 African countries Queen Elizabeth II visited during her reign. Thanks for watching.